Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here from DarkGadgets.com. Today we're going to take a look at the new iPod Nano. Now this Nano is $149, which is $50 less than the base iPod Touch model. Uh, that's not the new model, that's the old model. Because this one starts at $300. Now that's a tough decision for some people because, I mean, why would you get this when you can pay $50 more for an iPod Touch with access to the App Store and uh, wireless syn syncing, etc.? Um, this, I guess, mainly is a device for people who are into fitness, just want to listen to music, and um, is mainly actually targeted at kids or younger people. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead on opening this and see what's in store. Let's put that aside. This just comes up like that. Take the iPod. Let's put it aside for right now. Designed by Apple in California. Uh, quick start guide. And we have the lightning connector again here, nicely packaged. And then we have the ear pods also included in there. And that is all you're going to get in the packaging. Uh, nothing too radical, too different. Um, I don't think it comes with Apple stickers. Bummer. But yeah, let's take a look at the main guy here. Uh, how this pulls that way. All right. And I mean, this little guy is tiny. From first impressions, I mean, it's kind of cool. I got the black one in this color because I mean, all of the other colors just look cheap. They look like some Kerf or just some cheap version of an Apple product. This set looks, at least looks kind of slick. Um, it just looks kind of nice overall. Uh, here for a quick thickness comparison, we have the new iPod Touch, the new iPod Nano, and let's put the iPhone 5. Let's see if we can get this there. All right. Uh, so it's pretty much the same thickness or close to being the same as the iPod uh, iPod Touch. But yeah, it's a small little guy. It'll fit anywhere pretty much. And yeah, sadly Apple moved away from the watch designs or the ability to use this as a watch. But let's pull this off right here, put that aside. And a closer look at the bottom we have the lightning port connector we also have the headphone jack and nothing else down there now looking at the top we have the sleep and wake button on the left side we have the volume buttons or rocker and there's also a button dedicated in the middle and that's for use when navigating the home uh, so let's turn this bad boy on and it's it's very small it's done and obviously you don't have Wi-Fi connection here. You cannot connect to the app store, nothing. This, what you see right here is what you get. You cannot download any more apps, um, nothing else. So let's see, this button is used, or not right now. That button cannot be used for that. I'm not really sure how this works. I mean, obviously you have your volume buttons, but I'm pretty sure these all buttons have different functions depending on what app you're on. Now, Apple brought back video functionality, which is pretty sweet, but obviously this screen's not gonna give you anything amazing or any amazing quality video or, or an immersive experience for that matter. But you can download podcasts, listen to radio when you connect the headphones. Uh, and we still do have the watches here, real quick. We have the clock faces, but I mean, they still look kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, they did not, oh there we go. I mean, they don't even have as many faces as before. You know, it looks kind of cool. Maybe as a nightstand or something right there. It looked kind of cool. Uh, but obviously, cannot use this as a watch right there. Um, who knows, maybe someone will come up with something for that. But for right now, that is all. The home button, of course, now has a circle and all the icons are circle as well. Very interesting approach that Apple took here. I'm thinking they probably uh, got away from the watch design on the iPod Nano because they they're thinking of bringing an accessory in as a watch. Who knows, maybe in the future. Uh, here, let's go to general real quick. I wanna show you. On the wallpaper, we have various options here. You have this kind of gradient or light ray, kind of dizzy one. Uh, different textures here of black or gray and then we have just a regular black and that is all that you can choose for a wallpaper um, they don't let you choose your own wallpapers i have no idea why 
Uh, very, very weird that Apple restricted so many things on this device. But who knows for, I guess for a fitness device, this is great. I personally stick to buying an, iP an older generation iPod Nano and using that and putting it on as a watch because I don't really see the point of this device. Yes, it's nice. I guess for a kid, this is a great device. Uh, not having to buy them an iPod Touch or anything. Maybe you don't want them to access the App Store or internet or anything. You just want them to have a music player where they can watch their cartoons or something. Um, this is a great device for that. I would have loved to have this as a kid. But other than that, I, I'm i not very excited for this product. I mean, I found the iPod Touch to be very cool looking and stuff, uh, much better than the iPod Nano. But we'll see what Apple does with the iPod Nano in the future. But for right now, that is all in this video, guys. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, as always. And uh, we will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.